what is up we're back it's another day I didn't get much filming I'm trying it's just hard for me once I get out to start working it's hard for me to remember to start filming but we're back another day today we've got some aerating um, we're gonna be doing some cleanup work still finishing up some other properties and then uh, I don't know what we're gonna do but there's work to be done I just don't know where we're gonna head next to what job there's a ton of work I got lined up um, I just need to get more organized and put a list together and go boom 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 so next week we're gonna have our days planned out with what jobs we do and what days um, it's kind of harder for us uh, yesterday I turned down some work for some variations uh, basically they were next door neighbors and basically I just said hey uh, I yeah sorry I mean I'm full that's what happens I set a schedule I tell my clients I'm like hey yeah I'll be there today I'll we'll get the dethatching done blah 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 well it turns out that I get so many neighbors coming up to me being like hey can you do this can you do that sometimes I'm like yeah sure I'll do it cuz I'm here right it's extra money you're here but what I find is unless you're in constant contact with your clients you need to contact them and let them know what happened especially if you're not gonna be there that's the number one thing and number one I guess I, I basically so I basically ask new clients you know I say hey what was the problem with your old company and they say well they suck first of all uh, second of all they say that there was a lack of communication so by lack of communication that just means like when the customer tries to get a hold of you you answer the phone simple um, I don't I honestly don't talk to a lot of my clients but there's an expectation of what I'm going to do there's an expectation of me showing up every week like I should if something happens Sometimes I don't call with rain and stuff like that, but but I'll, I'll tell you what if a customer contacts me You're damn right. I'm answering the phone. I'm texting them back. I'm calling them back I am in constant communication with my clients if they contact me so Rule of thumb my number one rule of thumb is Communication like communication is super important to me. Maybe your business is different. I don't know Maybe if you're not answering your phone, you're busy, I don't know. That's good. If you're busy, great, don't answer your phone. Uh, I know some people who are busy and they don't answer their phone, but yet I always see them posting on social media, you know, hey, call this person, you know, like call my company, I'll do it, I'll do it. But they're so busy, they really don't need the work. And then when they customers are trying to call them, they can't get a hold of them. So that's another reason why people talk bad about a company is they'll say hey well somebody might recommend a certain company and someone else will pipe up and be like hey yeah I, I had bad luck they never called me back well if someone says that you know Joe Blow never called me back they're probably not gonna try to call you they're gonna call me yeah that's right cuz I answer my phone yeah anyways enough of that We'll try to get some more filming of us here in a little bit. I'm not gonna show any more of this aeration business, man. Like, that's what we do. Uh, I'm gonna try to film a little bit more, maybe try to film a little bit more uh, advice, things I do in my business. I don't know, what do you wanna see? I just, I, I wanna film, I wanna film our day, cause we have a good time, man. We joke, we have fun. Like, it's not just all serious work, you know, but. I just feel like too many videos of say us aerating lawns are boring but we'll figure it out stay tuned stick around 